Quakes measuring 3.0 and 2.5 rattle Garson residents. Yeah, I know. I heard you say that in the headlines, and I was not aware of that. I, I actually read the news this morning as much as I could, and I didn't come across that article for some some really strange reason. <laughs> you like the music in the background? <laughs> it's, it's interesting. I don't think we require it for this article. but um, So Valet has confirmed that yeah. the pair of seismic events uh, were related to Garson Mine. Yeah, and uh, so that was on Wednesday uh, and early Thursday, um, and uh, yeah, a whole lot of shaking going on last night. Yeah, for and, sure. Uh, in the last couple of days, and uh, one of the residents, the local resident, said, "We're on Sandra Street in Garson, and I thought the whole building was coming down." Wow, that, I was just going to say, I wonder how you know we're not it used to people. that here like we're no. not used to earthquakes if you lived in los angeles no. a 3.0 is kind of like ah it's no big deal right yeah but here we're not we're not used to that so hmm. but, um but how come so it was just in garson how is that even possible that an earthquake could just be <laughs> be in garson so it's it's mine related oh yeah okay, so, well, the, that's so how, valley that's has how confirmed that, that conf- it does yeah. have to do with the mine and uh okay. well yeah they said when blasting or when there's natural earth movements, mm-hmm. um, that can cause tremors, and that was the case uh, this time. It's a man-made earthquake. Basically, yeah. yeah. So I can confirm that seismic events occurred at Garson Mine, 10 p.m. on Wednesday night, and uh, measuring approximately 3.0, and then again at 5 a.m. I lived so, in uh, Coppercliff, and we experienced many similar experiences. Small ones? Uh, there were some, some big ones, too. Really? Yeah, and we were always wondering, is that... Uh, a valet thing or is that you know a, an earthquake thing like a, a natural earthquake mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you but, always wonder right well yeah if your I house remember is a shaking, couple when i was yeah mm-hmm. a teenager i remember a couple of them and i'm just down the road from from copper cliff so uh so it goes on um <laughs> seismicity can occur as part of mining especially at significant depths and uh, our emergency response processes are in place to ensure rigorous safety protocols are followed when seismic events occur. So not too many details on what actually caused it. No. Not sure if it was a blast or whether it was, um, you know, a seismic event. But we do live in a giant, uh, giant mining city, so these things are going to happen. I guess it's just part of living here. It's just one of those things. I guess you get you get like man-made earthquakes just in the middle of the night. Usually, sometimes. Yeah, man-made, 5 a.m., 10, yeah. 10 p.m., just got to be on the lookout. A 3.0, like you said, for Sudbury, that's pretty significant. Mm-hmm. You know, in parts of the world on, you know, that receive regular earthquakes, mm-hmm. that's not... Uh, not huge. It's not huge. And we do have pretty high building standards here. We do. So it's not like our buildings will start falling, uh, falling yeah. apart. Yeah.